Hi guys and welcome back to Freeze Drawing Mama. I'm talking today about ways you can make baby food from your freeze drawing items. I know, how weird. You can just throw the food into the blender, right? And you could, you totally could. But sometimes you don't have that option. In the end of the world situations, you're gonna have to be able to take care of your children. And that is not always possible. And I have to tell you, I'm not a huge fan of baby food in the bottles. I think it's disgusting. And freeze drying that stuff would not be fun. I'm just going to show you an example of one way that I would make baby food if I was in that situation. So I have rotisserie chicken right here, and the way that it went in here was big chunks. This was for big people, right? Because we're big kids. I've got big kids, and we went on a trip to Hawaii. Check out the video on how I saved money on a trip like that. And we used some of these things, and the chicken, if you can see, got kind of powdery, okay? And that's what happens. It turns into like a styrofoam when you freeze dry it, and it crumbles really easy if you're not careful. And this can be happen, this can happen with anything. Peaches, it can, you can mash up um, potatoes, you can mash up your eggs, your scrambled eggs, you can mash up any meats because it becomes really, really delicate, right? It holds its form, but once you freeze dry it, it can actually fall apart. And that's a good thing if you have babies. So if it was me and I was a and I was freeze drying for my food storage, I wouldn't worry about doing extra food for freeze drying. I would just make sure that I knew how to reconstitute it. So what I have here is just a little bit of water. It's nothing fancy. And I would I would definitely make sure it was warm because it's for my kid. This is a cold bottle, cold, cold little bit because I've been sitting there. But the but the chicken has been mashed up. And you can mash it up with your fingers. You can mash it up with a spoon in a bowl, kind of like a mortar pestle style. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can do this. Fortunately for me, it was already done in the bag. So I would just do a little bit with the water that I've got in here. I don't need to do a bunch because I don't have any babies, but I'm going to try and feed it to my baby kittens and see if they like it. And then I would just mix it with the water until it reconstitutes, and it makes a really nice little paste. You can make it as watery or as dry as you want. You can see how it's just turning into this nice little, and I didn't mash these down very much, but you could if you wanted to. You could go as fine as you want. But what's great is you can do this with anything. I mean, you could do it with yogurt. You can say yogurt, right, because it turns into a powder and you just reconstitute it. Potatoes, like I said, is a great thing. My kids loved potatoes when they were babies. Peaches, strawberries, raspberries, anything can be turned into powder after you freeze dried it. No blender needed. You can literally do it between your fingers. In fact, I'll show you with a bigger piece of the chicken. So like I said, this is already cooked freeze dried chicken or rotisserie chicken from Costco. That's how we do most of it. I got a little bit of a bigger piece out of here so I can show you. So hopefully you can see this, but you just rub it between your fingers and it turns into powder. And the powder is what you put together for your baby food. You can do that with sweet potatoes. You can do it with anything that you freeze dry. Isn't that exciting? I love that. I think it's one of the best things about freeze drying is that it has so many versatile ways that you can use the food. You make chili and you freeze dry it. Well, you can freeze dry it and then grind it into a powder and your baby can have chili. If your baby can handle chili. Mine love chili. So really you can just do just about anything. And I just want you to explore those options. You can hear our kittens in the bit in the bathroom. I think they know it's about time to eat. So if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe. I would love for you not to miss any of our tips and tricks. And when you can put comments in, that helps me know what kind of information you're looking for. Thanks, you guys, so much. And find us on freezedrawingmama.com. We've got lots of great organization tips there and some printables and stuff that you can grab for free. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you later.